Hey everyone, Desert Tactical 86 here with my FLIR Scout PS series video output modification. Um, been searching YouTube a lot for any type of video output mod, and all I could find was people making a hot shoe that basically attaches to the bottom of your FLIR for video output. Um, I decided to go one step above that and create my own. What you can see here is a connector here. This is a SMA connector. And basically what I did was open up the FLIR and connect the wires from the inside to the connector here uh, for video output. And then you would connect the cable at the bottom of it. To an RCA connector to hook up to a TV or a monitor or anything that you would like. Um, the modification is $220 and basically what that covers is the modification itself, putting a connector on the flare and I would include a 6 foot SMA cable that it would attach to the bottom of your flare and either have a male or female RCA connector at the end. Uh, these are my personal connectors so this is just an extension here and this is an SMA cable with a male RCA uh, connector at the end of it. Uh, you can either have a male or female RCA connector at the end of yours um, just specify to me uh, which one you would like um, basically how to get this started is just send me an email, send me a message on YouTube and I will reply to you with a Word document. Um, the Word document pretty much just says that um, in order for me to complete this modification you would just need to sign the document return it to me. Um, it says I acknowledge that uh, the connector will be placed on the FLIR. Um, by doing this, the warranty would be voided if applicable. Um, the warranty on mine was already up, so I didn't really worry about that. Um, I have a five day maximum turnaround time. You would send the FLIR to my residence. I would complete the modification, send it back to you. I would pay for the shipping. Um, I'm in law enforcement. I already have a flare. You know, I'm not looking to take anybody's or anything like that. So, um, local modifications can be dropped off at my house. I've already done a couple locally. I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. And um, the paper also states that um, this will still retain the waterproofing. I do seal it inside with uh, uh, sealant glue, um, although I wouldn't recommend. Um, you know, putting this in water either way, you don't want to ruin your expensive camera, whether or not it is waterproof or not, you know, just my opinion, but, um, yeah, this is the FLIR Scout PS32 model here, and then now we're going to go ahead and show you what it looks like on the monitor. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and hook up the FLIR to the TV here. Uh, we're going to go we're gonna use the six foot extension that I have for it. And then demonstrate how it works here. And then this will just hook up to the to the back of the TV here. And here she is. Now keep in mind this is a 47 inch TV and the bigger your TV or monitor is, the poorer the picture quality is going to be, seeing that the 32 only has a 320 by 240 resolution. Um, 
So just keep in mind that if the audio, if the video quality doesn't look that well. Watch that. There's all the studs and nails in the wall. There's the cat, and as you can see, it uh, works pretty well here. It just works like if you were to be looking through the actual flare. This is Desert Tactical 86, and thank you.